Hello Taurus and welcome to your February reading 2023. Um, again, my name is Jackie and my channel is Romani Tarot. I do thank you, thank you for any of you that are coming back to listen to your readings. I do appreciate it. So let's get on with the reading. So we're looking at uh, love relationships, connections, you know, loving connections, you know, whatever comes out. So we're going to have a look Taurus and see what's happening for you whether you're looking for a relationship or you're in a relationship, you know, whatever's happening around you at the moment and, you know, what your energy is around uh, February time, all right? So let's get on with the reading. We're going to pull some oracle cards first. So we're going to start off here. So we're going to pull some oracle cards for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? you want a person who comes into your life by accident okay so this is for those of you that are single or maybe if you're with someone this person did come into your life by accident okay oh but stays on purpose okay so um something is uh for those of you that are already in a relationship somewhat the person you with that come into your life pretty uh by accident unexpectedly but they, they're staying for the duration of the relationship. Um, for those of you uh, looking for a, a relationship, I would say that someone is going to come in, uh, someone you don't expect, okay, it's quite accidentally. This could be a chance meeting of some sort. But uh, whoever it is, you know, this is a good match and they will stay by your side, all right? All right, if we're not talking about those of you who are looking at relationships, for example, then we could be looking at somebody else. Uh, this could be a friend, you know, somebody you meet, somebody at work, you know, that you really connect with. OK, so let's have a look. So I'm going to pull one here from this deck. This is my love for messages. This is my own main deck. So we're going to pull a message here. Let's see what we have. Okay, so let's cut the cards. The message for Taurus. Okay, I miss you so much is the message from this card. Okay, so whether you're uh, spending time apart, from your person at the moment maybe they're working away uh, maybe they're about to leave for, for some reason or another um, but you're missing you or you know they're missing you you're missing them or you know whoever it is if you if you're um if you're separated anything like that it's someone that you're missing very much I miss you so much someone that's missing you very much so it could be vice versa all right this could be someone else in your life that you miss very much as well, Taurus, all right? This can be uh, somebody that's uh, also, I also like to look at um, spirit as well. So maybe somebody you miss very much that has crossed over, that's not with, with you anymore, that's in spirit. So, um, and plus they miss you very much. But, they're, you know, if it is someone like that, then they're always around you, okay, Taurus? There's one more card from this deck. I think this is the uh, Soul Connections Oracle. What do we have for Taurus? And there's a 
also a message here as well when we look at what they're saying here in this card you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose that means um for those of you um that have been you know in previous relationships you're wanting someone that 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 stays you know you know the good times the bad times that sticks by you through thick and thin uh, you don't want someone in your life at this moment that just sort of come and comes and goes as they choose um, or comes in and out of your life all the time okay so what do we have let's get one more card Taurus you have is bond a love bond that grows stronger over time wow lovely <clears throat> lovely message there for you Taurus a love bond grows stronger over time okay so when they're away from you the bond's very strong uh, you, you miss them um, and this person that you've met by accident you know unexpectedly anything this person when you got together uh, it's something that grows, of course, over time, every day, you know, something else happens and it grows stronger and stronger. Um, so, yeah, you know what that is. That's a bond, uh, usually a bond that's very hard to break. OK. So let's have a look and see what's going on around you at the moment, Taurus. So we'll pull from the before tarot first and see what we have. Just give the cards a good shuffle. What do we have for Taurus? Regard to love. Oh, the lovers. <laughs> that flipped over. <laughs> Quite appropriately. Wow, lovely. First card that come over is the lovers. I think we're going to pull this way first. So we're definitely talking about love for you, love and relationships. someone here or you've got someone that sort of leads the way that takes uh takes the lead in some way and i feel this is something that you that you like or you need in your life this doesn't mean to say that they're controlling or they take over completely it just means that you know someone's there to sort of pick you up as well taurus okay right i'm gonna cut i don't know if i've just cut them but i'm gonna cut them again Right, what else do we have? Let's pull the top row first. Lovely. Eight of Wands. King of Cups. Wow. Okay, so if you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio energy here with the King of Cups. Doesn't have to be, but I thought I'd just mention it. We have Gemini on this side as well. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart, Taurus. But we see this uh, fast... Fast communication with the Eight of Wands. Um, it's of course, something that's growing. It's going to take uh, a bit of time for you to really sort of uh, create this bond between you both. Uh, but when it starts, I feel it's going to happen. You know, it's really going to sort of take off and happen quite quickly once this uh, relationship sort of falls into place and you sort of get to know each other and get used to each other. All right. Or maybe this is what's happened, because we're looking at a past position as well. Okay, so let's pull present. 
Wow, lovely cards. Okay, so your present energy, your main focus is change. Uh, things um, changing for you or things are uh, about to change because of this uh, connection you have with someone. So things are not going to be the same and they're usually going to turn out with a wheel of fortune upright. They're going to turn out for, you know, for the better. Things can only move forward. All right. And change, of course, is inevitable. So we go through these changes every every day, you know, every minute of the day, every day of the week, you know, week to week, month to month. I mean, things are always turning and changing. All right. Let me just pull three more cards. Lovely. Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, do excuse me. The Death card. So we have Scorpio energy again. And the fall, lovely. Okay, so in your current position, Taurus, you have the High Priestess, the Wheel, and the Queen of Wands. Really nice energy here. Got a bit of fire energy going on here. So I do feel that one of you is quite, um, I'll say uptight, maybe a little bit more fiery than the other one um you know vice versa so i do feel that someone is um trying to in a nice way trying to tame you taurus in some way okay so it's trying to uh get you to you know understand get you to trust them in some way both these cards in this deck the lovers we have a look here the lovers and the four which is your outcome card so a new beginning here uh, they're both showing hands of reaching, reaching out, okay, reaching out to to give you a hand, okay. So I do feel someone is helping you as well, helping you in some way, giving you an helping hand. But they're also there to sort of pick you up as well when you when you're feeling down. All right. So um, yeah, and this change definitely comes through here with the uh, wheel of fortune and the death card. So we have a, a definite change coming in here and it's for the better. It's a new beginning for you, uh, Taurus, okay? A new, maybe a new way of life, a new start with a new person. This is going to make you, and intuitively uh, as well, the High Priestess, it's asking you to use your intuition, uh, which I feel you are at the moment. So I feel you are very receptive and intuitive as well at picking up on uh on different things around you or just picking up on situations so it could be you know anything like that but it's also asking you to um to use your wisdom as well and to know where this change is is leading which looks to me with the queen of wands aries energy there so we could be looking at the chain a change in yourself you're being more confident uh this this connection grows as it as it says here grows stronger over time so it's 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 also growing in your own confidence and uh, knowing who you know what you want who you are and being more sort of forward and and outgoing with yourself as well okay so this line here which is lovely so we see a, a definite change an ending we see a new beginning so an ending with the death card, a beginning with the fall. And this has something to do with your, um, I mean, it could be to do with your financial. It's, it's just that you are going to be, I think, in a position where you're going to feel really comfortable, Taurus. All right. You're going to be feel comfortable, you know, not only in materialistic stuff, money and stuff like that, and material things. You're feeling comfortable in the relationship you you that you're having or that you're going to be having with someone you're going to feel very secure and confident in this relationship okay so i'm going to just pull some cards now from the uh after tarot and see what we have let's have a look give a shuffle and we have the wheel of fortune again at the bottom here 
Definitely a lovely new opportunity coming in for you. And it's a change for the better. All right, Taurus. Things are changing for the better. You see something as well from a very good, um, as I'd say a bird's eye view as well, especially with this eight of wands here. It's like the centre, it's like the eye here at the centre of the reading. You see what's going on around you now and you see things more clearly. Let's just pull some more cards. Give these another shuffle. Yeah, we've got the judgment there as well. Okay, because I'm sort of, as I say, judgment there being at the bottom of the deck. That's a good wake up call, you know, you're sort of uh, realizing something. You're starting to realise things. All right, Taurus. Your gut feeling serves you well. Experience. You've gained experience through your life. Things take time. Whether we're going into relationships or going forward with ourselves, our confidence, things don't happen overnight, as I always say. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, things take time. You know, working on yourself, it all takes time. Working on relationships, you know, it all takes time, right? Okay, so this uh, popped over. Okay. Oh, I think I've turned the cards around, but it doesn't matter. But this one um, come out in reverse. Te uh, the, the Hermit, a Virgo energy there. And we've got this Mercury energy going on with these two cards. So uh, don't be afraid to... Um, I feel in the past here, the past position, uh, don't be, uh, I don't think you've needed, what I want to say is you've needed someone to show you the way. You've needed that someone to sort of pick you up and sort of bring you out of a, a state of uh, solitude, a state of maybe loneliness, um, you know, whatever that is, someone you can talk to. You've needed this person to take you out of this um, state of uh, confining yourself in your own space. They're taking, they're actually have taken, you started to take you out of your comfort zone even, I would say, with that card. shuffle let's have a look see what we have i'm going to go down now i'm going to pull the cards down and see what we have all right let's cut them one more time let's see if the cards come over First, I think I turned the cards around. If they're all over, then I'm turning them back. So we're going to we're going to read them both ways. Okay, so with the sun card in reverse, it's always a nice card. Okay, it's just you. Um, needing to open up especially on top of the high priestess there so this is your energy now Taurus on this side okay so it's you opening up 
which you haven't been able to do i say there in in this position something that uh you've you've needed that sort of push to sort of um to start really sort of opening up and enjoying yourself again okay so what's this energy the moon okay the moon in reverse is something being revealed or something being hidden okay so i feel uh with uh reading this in the reverse position that something it's about facing your fears so i do feel with this being in reverse that you are facing if it's fears or facing something uh for the first time i'd say in a long while being able to face things and um So not fear, not fear the unknown anymore. Okay, Taurus. As I said, you do see things and you see in the situation. I said that with this card, seeing things a lot more clearly. If you're with this person, you're about to meet this person. There's somebody that's guiding you in some way. That's giving you some guidance. Okay, so let's have a look at their energy. So this will be your person's energy. So we've got this King of Cups. Okay, so they weren't satisfied, I think, until they, they come together with you. Because this we have the Nine of Cups here. The card, when it's upright, we're going to read both sides anyway. So uh, wish fulfillment and obviously a wish not um, being fulfilled or not feeling satisfied in some way something hasn't satisfied them okay so this connection with you is a lot more they feel a lot more content or you know at home anything like that they feel really um they feel good with you Taurus. So whoever this is they feel really good they're not shy <laughs> not shy okay i'd say this uh eight of uh cups in reverse it's funny they all come over in reverse but i'm going to read both sides okay so um this is them okay they're not going to walk away they're quite content as i said content with this connection if you're with someone in this connection they're quite content they're not about to uh leave you or walk away from you in any way all right taurus with the eight of cups in reverse mm. i was going to say if they do walk away it's not because of you or because of the relationship it will be because they have something to do or business to attend to or or work to go to this is a different energy there of walking away to what i read in the reverse all right remember what we have here i miss you so much okay so coming down here with their energy they're very um youthful i think in their attitude i think they've got a, a good sense of uh, humor they're very um what can i say a young head on old shoulders especially with these cards up here <laughs> An old dead on young shoulders, hermit and lovers. All right. So um, somebody who is uh, who's done with uh, battling in their life. The five of swords in reverse. They are um, not prepared to sort of fight this, fight this connection. And they don't want to fight it. OK, because they've had that putting it upright. They've had enough of that in the past. All right. Uh, sort of uh, having to having to fight for what they want or you know for what they have what they want who they want you know it's always been a struggle and a fight for them right let's have a look at this uh okay so when i see temperance in the center with the wheel of fortune this is quite strong sagittarian energy here especially with the wheel because that's jupiter so we have sagittarius and jupiter Okay, but we have temperance. We look at the reverse. This is this is uh, a need for. I'd say sorting things out. You know, things sort of uh, working, working on yourself, 
working on still having work to do on yourself okay Taurus in some way and I don't mean that really negatively or harshly I just mean that um, you are you you have come a long way you have done a lot of work on yourself but with temperance in reverse it just means that you just you just got to go that extra extra mile okay so you've really got to let's pull it upright you've really got to get to the upright position uh balance you know healing so we, we there's still healing to do here all right when it's reversed so there's there's a lot more healing to do and as i say things don't happen overnight so uh you are working on it and you're striving for balance peace and healing in your life as well that is your main focus is your healing process all right so whatever you're healing from um whether it's past relationships whether it's losses you know people that have got in uh, your friends family or anything like that that have passed into spirit um and also the things that you've you've done maybe to get through the hard times in life all right so there's, a, you know, it takes time for us to be healed. All right. Nobody's perfect. OK, so let's have a look at this energy up here. OK, so we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So uh, a new opportunity missed, possibly in the past, maybe some sort of opportunity or the opportunity to speak your mind. Uh, when things were being sort of thrown at you in some way. And I don't mean, you know, people throwing things at you, sort of physically are throwing things at you. But you know what I'm saying? With people coming coming to you from all directions with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Swords, you just missed the opportunity because at the time you couldn't think or you wasn't well enough to sort of speak up for yourself about something. All right? I hope I'm making sense here, uh, Taurus, in some way. Okay, so looking in, so I'm going to put that upright. Now, and then we're going to go down here. For, so this end. So there has to be an end when the Queen of Swords in reverse. There, there has to be an end where you think to yourself, okay, um, this Queen in reverse, she, she will... She don't care what she says, all right? She will, she will say anything, but she can be quite hurtful and very, very to the point, all right? So maybe there's a need here to um, sort of come upright with that and uh, be a little bit more diplomatic, all right? Especially in, uh, in your connections or this connection, okay? Because I, I do feel here... Uh, some as I said from the beginning that someone may tend to fly off the end or lose their temper quite quickly all right especially with this very strong uh, Gemini energy in here plus you know this Mercury and of course we have Virgo here as well but it's just about being a bit more calmer all right calmer when you're speaking and everything else um yeah, just being more understanding. More, I'm not saying you, this could be the other person as well. More understanding, more sympathetic. Okay, being calmer about things. All right. And speaking, also speaking your truth. Because uh, as, again, she sees things a lot clearer. And I've been saying this through the reading. Is that you have this um, insight now into things that you would never have thought of before, Taurus. Okay. Right. Okay, I hope I made sense in some way, but you do have a nice connection here with someone, or you're about to have. As I said, if they're not a lover, you know, if they're not, a, it's not a relationship. It could be the relationship you're in, a relationship you're going to be in, or this could be a really close connection you have with someone. You know, a really good, um, good connection you have with someone, a friends with benefits, even <laughs> whatever it is, but. It, you know, the needs we have to be careful that we uh, we balance. You know, we keep this balance between uh, working hard and playing hard. Although that two of coins is in there, I, st I still feel that, especially when I see temperance. You know, when it was in the reverse. All right, so there's still a need maybe to uh, just watch uh, as well. 
maybe this is this is where you need to how can I say this without being um this is uh just what I'm thinking what I'm picking up just be careful with any um say i don't want to say addictions i don't feel it's addictions but just be careful when you're drinking um you know what i mean drinking alcohol and stuff like that just be uh just keep that even keep that in balance not too much of it all right because you you, are, you have got some healing going on here and maybe when you've had a drink this makes you tend to um open up in a, it could be in a, a more negative way than a positive way or vice versa all right so i just want to say that uh, but apart from that lovely a lovely reading you have someone here that's by or you, you have someone here whether they're friends or lover or or a partner someone who's by your side and someone who's going to stick with you through the good the bad times as well as the good times okay through thick and thin all right, Taurus, so I'll leave that there with you. That's your reading for uh, February. Remember, when I do a reading for a month, I'm just putting it out that it's for that month. It doesn't mean that it's, that it's uh, happening in that month. It could have happened already. It might be happening in the future. All right, so thank you for listening and uh, joining me. And I do, as I say, I do appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with your March readings in a few weeks. So please, whatever, you, whatever you're going through, I do wish you all the best of luck and uh, God bless and I'll be back soon. Bye Taurus.